Hi guys, this is Lena at GradeLink again. Thanks for joining me for the financial webinar video series. This is video 17 in our series. In the last video, we talked about how to run a statement and how to publish statements online. In this video, we're going to talk about how to run what we call a family statement. And so that just means it would um, allow you to run a bill that you could present to the family, and it would show all of the charges for each of the, uh, the children in that family. So uh, what makes the family uh, function work is the, what we call a family ID number. And so I'm going to click on the Students tab in the upper left here. And I'm just going to pick on Amelia Earhart. And we can see here that there's a family number two that's been entered in for Amelia. So I'm going to click on her sister Julie, and I just want you to see that Julie also has the family number two. And so um, again, it doesn't matter too much what the number is necessarily, um, just so long as two siblings share the same number. So once you have a family ID number in place, that's all you need to do to be able to run a family statement uh, for the Earharts in this case. So I'm going to click back on my financial tab on the left side of my screen. And I'm going to select Amelia. And um, the first thing I want to show you here is her ledger. These are all the charges that are specific to Amelia. But at the top of the page, what you'll notice is a button that says a family ledger. And when I click on the family ledger, it's combining all of the charges and payments, all of the transactions for both Amelia and her sister Julie. So I can see each of the transactions here just like you normally would in the student ledger, only there's a student column, and so that'll tell me whether the transaction is specific to Amelia or to Julie. So once you're ready to run a family statement that would show all of these charges, then you can go to your Reports tab again at the top of the page. So we're going to um, the same Reports page just like when we ran a statement for an individual student. Only this time I'm going to click on the Family Statements option under Reports to Run. And then uh, I'm going to select this session. In this case for the Earharts, um, I'm interested in last year's session, so I'm going to run a 2013-2014 statement. And then I would need to, uh, as usual, select the billing period that I want to include on the statement. If I want to span um, for the entire school year, I could always just select June at the starting date and then choose the July as the the through date. I could also choose a custom date range. Um, once I have that, the parameters selected up here, then I'm ready to choose whether I'm running this for all students um, or just for a specific family in this case. So I'm going to click on this Family Filter button. When I click in the drop-down, what I see is actually the parents' names listed next to the family ID number. And so I uh, remember that the family ID number for the Earharts was 2. And so here are the parents listed. So when I click on their name, then I'm telling Grayling that I want to run a family statement just for this family. So once I have the family selected, I can click Run Refresh Report. And here's the report, um, the, the statement with all of the charges and all of the transactions. But what's a little bit different about this is that you can see uh, charges for both of the siblings. So here's a tuition payment for Amelia, and then the next line is a tuition payment for Julie. So this amount column is uh, it shows all of the transactions for both of the siblings. And so um, just like with a regular statement, you can click on this floppy icon at the top of the page if you want to uh, print it out. And you can export it to Excel or PDF or Word and then print from there once you have it downloaded. Um, or you can also uh, publish the statement online. We talked a little bit about um, how to make sure that you have the online 
um, publishing of statements available to you. But I'm going to click on the ledger, and I want to show you the online statements button here. Again, I see that I have my online access on. And what I see is family statements that are available. So this is an indication to me that for the Earhart family, uh, those, those statements are online. And uh, this is actually a very similar view to what the parents would see when they log in. They can click on any of these links and download a, a statement for the, uh, for the entire family. And they can just open the file on their computer. It would look something like this. The nice thing about the family statements is that the balance due is a combined balance for all of the children. So it makes it a little bit easier for the parents to uh, stay on top of. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. Stay tuned for the next video.